Hi guys, happy Monday. Um, I want to check in with you first with a couple of announcements. Um, I will be posting a later uh, video later on blooms. As soon as I get the information, I'll pass it on to you. I want to let you know about supply pickup. Uh, that has yet to be determined, so I will let you know and post a video as soon as I get that information. Um, make sure you make arrangements to come get your supplies. Um, if you are just unable to come pick up the supplies for whatever reason, please just message me on Blooms or send me an email so I can make arrangements. I might have to um, come to your home and drop it off on the doorstep. So just let me know because I need you guys to really have that bag um, for next week because a lot of our work is on paper. Um, in that week two announcement, like I said, I'm going to give you details how to pick up your supply bags. Um, I am also going to show you how to use your supply bags. There's lots of good stuff in there. Everything's labeled. Uh, parents don't panic when you see the worksheets. Um, you don't have to do them yourself. Um, there will be a link to a video. I will do every single worksheet on a video with them just like we do in class. So don't worry about that. Remember right now, um, our emotional and physical health and well-being is top priority. So let's take care of that first. Um, food pickup for sure is Tuesday, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. That's a drive through at school and also at First Baptist Church, whichever location is easiest for you um, to get to. That will be where supply pickup is, but we don't know if it's going to be at the church yet or at the school. So that's what I'm going to be posting a video later telling you the information so make sure you're checking blooms all day long today it's very important that you get that supply bag okay let's go ahead and get started miss tamplin's friends i'm gonna slide over get my pointer ready all right you guys we are still in march this is our well, we have two more weeks in March, but next week we're also going to start April. This week, this month went by so fast. All right, so uh, we had a weekend. Today's Monday, so we've got to fill in the dates for the weekend. I hope you guys slept in and relaxed on the weekend. I hope you guys didn't do any schoolwork. Y'all just slept in and maybe played outside or played some games with your mommy and daddy. All right. So the last date on the calendar was 20. We need to fill in the next number. 20 plus one is 21. Okay, we're gonna count on and find out what that next number is. Count with me, 21, 22. And here's today's date, 22 plus 1. I'm going to give you guys a second to think about it. Okay, do you have your answer? All right, let's count it together. Ready? 22, 23. So today is 23 in positional terms. We would say the 23rd. All right, we're going to fill in our morning message. Uh, first thing we do is find the day of the week. So I'm going to trace our date up. Do, 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 do. <gasps> the day of the week starts with an M, and we know that M says mmm. So we know that day of the week has got to be Monday. It's Monday. And then we start with the month, and I told you the month hasn't changed yet. It's still March. It also starts with an M and ends with our diagraph CH. CH says CH. Okay, and the date is the 23rd, and the year is still 2020. So I'm going to get my marker. You guys make sure at home that I'm not making any silly mistakes. My letter choices need to make sense. So it is Monday. You're going to see that. Capital M, we use a capital at the beginning of the sentence and also at the beginning of names because Monday is the name of the week. We write a capital. Let me scoot this over a little bit so you guys can see it really, really good. Okay, that looks good. It's Monday and we said March, capital again, 
because March is the name of our month, ends with the digraph CH. The 23rd, I want you guys to sky right with me. A two, a round and in, and slide to the right. That makes the numeral two. And then a numeral three, and it goes this direction. A lot of us write our threes backwards, so make sure you're really doing it the right way. Around and in and around again to make the numeral three. So it is the 23rd, and the year is 2022-02. Okay, get your grown-up voices ready. <coughs> Here we go. Hi, boys and girls. Today is Monday, March the 23rd, 2020. This week, we're going to be learning about the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm going to have a very special guest reader um, read something about, um, I think, American Monuments and our country. And I'm going to be teaching you the Pledge of Allegiance. So that's something we do at school every single day. So we're going to get to talk about that again um, today in a little bit more detail. So I think that'll be really fun. And in math, I don't think you can see it. Let me look it up. In math, we're doing measurement. We've been talking about length. We're going to review length today. That's where we take the unifix cubes and we measure the length, how long something is. And that tomorrow I'm going to introduce weight to you. So weight means how heavy something is. So it's going to be a lot of fun this week. All right. We're going to get ready for our pop quiz. Pop, 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 pop. Today is Monday. That means it is Math Facts Monday. I'm going to scoot closer to you. They're kind of small. Math Facts Monday, we're working on addition. Zero plus zero equals zero. You guys got to try and beat me. One plus zero equals one. Two plus zero equals two. Three plus zero equals three. Four plus zero equals four. Five plus zero equals five. Six plus zero equals six. Seven plus zero equals seven. Eight plus zero equals eight. Nine plus zero equals nine. Remember, plus zero is easy. It doesn't change. Zero is nothing, so it's not going to change the number at all. Okay, plus one. Remember, we're getting one more, so our number is going to go up one time. Zero plus one equals one. One plus one equals two. Use your fingers if you need to. Two plus one equals three. Three plus one equals four. Four plus one equals five. Hey, y'all are on your own. I'm out of fingers. Five plus one equals six. Six plus one equals seven. Seven plus one equals eight. Eight plus one equals nine. Nine plus one equals ten. Great job. All right, you guys, we are ready for our calendar songs. Remember, guys, Miss Tamplin's shy. Don't leave her hanging. I want to know that you are at home singing and dancing with me, so it's not just me on my own. All right, you guys, let's get started. Months of the year. 
January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. Last one. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you sit right down. start talking about weather and then we're going to talk about seasons so guys we're gonna really have to listen very very closely to our season song to get ready to rock and roll in our seasons unit There's kind of winter's thing, but in spring the plants get back their green. By summer they're in full swing, but in fall the leaves come tumbling down, down, down to the bottom. Oh, that reminds me, some folks call fall autumn. But anyway, winter, spring, summer, fall, one year for seasons and all. Winter, spring, summer, fall, or seasons, you can count them all. Winter, spring, summer, fall, one year, four seasons and all. Winter, spring, summer, fall, and now you know them once and for all. All right, you guys. Have a great Monday. Um, I can't think of anything else I need to let you guys know today. All right, I miss you guys so much. I miss hugging you every single day. I miss seeing your bright, sunshiny, smiley faces and hearing the hilarious and sweet and loving things that you have to say to me. I hope you guys are healthy and happy and enjoying this time with your mommies and your daddies and your grandmothers. Okay, um, I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.